you know, I would never move back to the States. There's no place out there, certainly in you know, North America, where there's as many opportunities for me doing what I would like to do as there are here in Ottawa between my life at the university and my life as a, uh, as a practitioner. So um, I would say that I'm actually uh, the poster boy of Ottawa. I mean, I can't say enough positive things, which, uh, you know, I, I kind of indulge the questions, oh, why did you leave New York? You know, it seems uh, kind of funny because it's like I can't think of anything that I gave up. Uh, my name is Paul Karyuk, and I'm a, uh, a professor in the School of Architecture at Carleton, and I also maintain my own design practice here in Ottawa incredibly cool thing about Ottawa is the number of incredibly talented people in the art world. So whether it's music or photography, uh, uh, film, painting. So, you know, my walls are covered with the stuff that I've acquired here in the last decade through people that I've met just by happenstance or at a party and you start talking, you realize they're doing these really interesting things. And, and uh, there's been a huge uh, increase in interesting projects in the last decade. There's been a huge increase in uh, downtown urban uh, you know, condominiums, apartments, a uh, huge increase in, in uh, great restaurants that the whole city seems to all of a sudden be waking up. And it's great to be at the, uh, the, the kind of the starting end of that wave rather than at the tail end, as it would be the case in a place like New York City, for example. Another terrific thing about Ottawa is the fact that it's a very uh, pet-friendly place, I guess in particular dogs, that um, there's a it seems like the bulk of the population is very comfortable around them. They're allowed everywhere. Uh, lots of the store vendors keep water out for the, uh, the shaggy guys. Um, so you know, going for longer walks or running errands with, uh, with the dog is uh, very easy to do. Uh, my dog goes with me absolutely everywhere. We're never, uh, we're never separated. Mm, so what do I think about arch Ottawa architecture? I think that there is a, an extremely fine history of modern buildings here. I love the National Archive building, which is so very kind of regal presence, and it looks something, you know, like something valuable. I kind of think of it as a kind of uh, a, you know, a marble vault, which is, I think, an appropriate metaphor for the National Archive. You know, so there, there's so many really fine buildings in Ottawa. Of course, you know, the Parliament buildings are beautiful, but in the last few years, there's a number of very fine buildings that have gone up. You know, the new... Uh, uh, Congress Center, which is a, a beautiful and a beautiful presence in Ottawa and on the canal. Um, just looking outside, you know, scanning the skyline from my uh, from my home. You know, there's uh, the government has invested in some extremely fine, even uh, office buildings, which generally you might think of as being banal, but in fact, the the, the materials that are being used, the spaces that are being created, um, kind of roof terraces for workers. You know, there's a kind of an increase in the humanity of a lot of the buildings. And again, it's not everywhere, but there uh, there's some very very fine pieces of architecture. Oh, I know for a fact that there's many people who've come to the same realization that I have about Ottawa, and most of those people are not from Ottawa originally. They moved here and realized that there's so many possibilities for a rich life here that just don't exist in, in larger cities. That people can come here and they can buy a piece of land and they can build a modern custom home where that would be unthinkable in a place like, again, Vancouver or Toronto or New York City. There's possibilities here that simply don't exist elsewhere.